Oh yeah. Get you in a sleeping bag. Yeah, I got a little high right here. Just gotta get in my sleeping bag. I think you need to lay the other one. <laughs> Yeah, welcome back to the Lake Four Guy channel, everybody. Oh man, we have some beautiful conditions right now, but a cold front on the way. I have a special video for you, my fishing freaks. And for all you general outdoorsmen, we're combining some great things today. Today's Bass Venture is what we're calling it, is brought to you by longtime partner of the channel, Mystery Tackle Box. Now for all you newbies to the channel that haven't heard me talk about Mystery Tackle Box, it is a subscription-based service that sends you Primo Tackle to your doorstep every month. All you have to do is sign up for the subscription and let the lures fly in. Use the code MONDO down below. That is MONDO. You know it. You hear it a lot on this channel. And you can get your first box for as low as five bucks. Now Mystery Tackle Box is the perfect solution if you're not quite sure what to throw that month. They've been around for so long now, they've got it dialed each month, sending you lures that are going to work in that particular weather situation for the typical almanac of weather conditions that month. I made up the part about the almanac, but you get the idea. You can watch this channel, you can learn the specific techniques you use every month, and you can dial it in with MTB as well. So sign up if you want to get hooked up, y'all. Link is down in the description. And I will be taking this box out with me into the wilderness. Me, myself, me, myself, that's, that's two peeps. Myself, the man, the myth, the mullet, the mullet man, and Dr. Andrew Fleer, doctor of the wilderness eating habits. Uh, just gave him that title. He loves to eat, eat things out in the woods though. Two perfect companions to go out into the wilderness with. We're going to be out on a river adventure, y'all. Uh, there's some bass out there. There's some other species of fish. So it's gonna be primitive camping style. Hopefully find something to eat out there and just have a good time, catch some fish and enjoy the great outdoors. Let's talk about some gear. On my person, I'm gonna be carrying a hammock to camp out in, a sleeping bag, uh, and then a just just a rucksack. I'm taking my free range bag and then I'm stuffing that with my mystery tackle box. Can't really fit my rods in there, but you know what I'm saying? Some extra clothes because the cold front is coming in. Some blades, some tools. You know, guys, I'm always packing a belt knife. Belt knife is essential. Carrying a mora today. Carrying a machete to chop down anything uh, for making other firewood and a few fire starting cooking essentials. That's it. Minimalistic. I've been getting all geared up for truck camping and going on some big adventure fishing trips uh, for the spring and the summer, but this is going to be kind of dialed back. Let's go meet up with the boys and get our danglers and our anglers ready. Walk around the farm and who do we find? The man, the myth, the mullet. Out on his party tune right here. It is it's really clear out here on your pond. Uh, when's the last party you had on this party tune? Man, like 1995. Back when Run oh. DMC was hot. I brought you a special, special gift, man. I brought you some white bass and crappie carcasses. I kept them in my cooler for about a week. They're still on ice, so they're fairly, fairly in good condition. But I'm sure these mullet man turtles, these voracious turtles, are gonna love it. Big old bass, I love. Ooh, that's a, that's the big one there. So apparently there are some big bass in here from uh, eons ago. A big old bass would like to just eat that. Ooh, look how clear that is, dude. They're schooling. You can see them swimming down there on the bottom. Look at them gliding down. It's a glide bait. That's a pretty nice white bass. Dude, look at that bass coming up to it. I'm dead serious. Look at the bass right there. Where? Oh yeah. See behind See? him? That's a three pounder. That's a three pounder. There's another two pounder coming in. <gasps> Dude, well, let's get some scraps. Let's get some other scraps. We're gonna eat it. There's a two pounder and a three pounder that came in. There's usually a big one under this. Dude, just toss that thing out there. Let that little, that little glider go down. Tasty crappie meat. Kind of staying back. They're like, oh no. Throw man. one out and see if they come up. And... I don't know about that mullet. I made a baby cry with this mullet the other day. You made a baby cry with your mullet? Baby cry, I just looked at him. They smelt the crappies. They saw the glitter. They came over. They said, no, I ain't got nothing to do with that mullet. 
Look at this. What is what are you dead serious right now? Dude, I want to Are you it. hand dangling a micro spook I need in the water? There's, there's. You must be kidding me. Oh man. Look at that reach. That is some extension on that pole. Can't really work it like you want to. You <laughs> can't really work it like you want to. Yeah, it's because you don't have a rod. That's fun times. You just put that on a that's postcard worthy right there. It, it just it just Mike with a with a hand line that just says, eat good. Eat good. <laughs> eat good. Whatever it takes. Flair, I think that's... Flair's taking too long to get here. Oh yeah, here's the okay, so we're waiting on Flair. Flair's coming. Way. What are we going to the river for, man? We got we got dang opportunities right here. So while we're waiting on Flair, give you guys a little update on what's going on here. Uh, this right here, that's uh, one of the options for the box. Uh, just gave Mullet Man one. He's he's already giving it a, a good dangle. We have other options. Look at these. We got some crate baits. This is gonna be good for the river. Good river situation. Um, wow. Bam. The jig rig. I'm liking this. I'm liking that a lot. Hooked up. What do you got? There you go. There's a fish on it. I'm little, man, not healthy skinny. at all. Dude, you need to feed these suckers some bigger crappie. Hold on. I'm gonna try to catch one here on this on this runt Can is what it's called. Oh, I just had a bluegill or that's a small bass. Dang you. It's not going well right now, y'all. Well, no luck on the dock for me. I had a couple bites. I had one fish on and it got off before I could reach the red record button on the camera. Got me. That YouTube life. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to save some battery. That's what happened. And we got some bad news while we were out there on the dock. There is a massive amount of water that is now gushing out of the above lake uh, of the river that we were going to fish. Too dangerous to take out the airboat. So we've got another river that we're gonna go out on. Hopefully there's bass out there. I know there's, there, this is the time of year where the white bass run up there. So if we got into that, that would be awesome. The man we've been waiting on uh, is here, Flair. I can't show you what's going on over there with him right now because he's got a biker helmet on and, oh, he just took it off. Okay, now he's here. There he is. Oh, there, I couldn't show them that over there. I know. It's, it's been so hard mystery. to film. I know. Rob showed a little bit of it. Just a peek? Yeah. Let me just get like just like a muffler. Oh my gosh, yeah. it's a muffler. Yeah, it's, it's bad. You guys will see it eventually at the Guggen Twy uh, channel. All right. At some point, Wes will edit that video and it'll be up there. It's going to be a doozy as always. It's a good one. Are you ready? I'm ready. I, uh, I don't know what I'm ready exactly. for. Exactly. And we got John here. Hi. He's, good. He's, a, he's along for the adventure as well. Chuck's like, I don't know what I'm doing. He's, right. he's, he's like, the dad pants. I just came from the fields killing pigs. I'm going dangling now. This this video has turned into just, it's crazy. Hopefully we don't die tonight. Just stay tuned and hit the like button so that way we survive. I'm just bagging us up. We are loaded down in the cat. Yeah. Have you ever seen a more loaded down kitty cat in your life? I don't even know what the, uh, we're probably over the weight limit. 100%. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Look, look, this is like a cargo plane right now. I've never uh, navigated these waters up here and there's trees everywhere. So I'm gonna definitely let Mike take over his own vessel here. And I'm just along for the ride. I'm just, I'm here. I can hug Flair if I get scared. Oh, it's oh, a six passenger. That. We're good. Y'all, you have tuned in to an absolute doozy today. Yes, you have. Uh, we're gonna make it, folks. We're gonna make it. Hopefully, we're gonna get on some fish. Um, but for sure, we've got grease. We have a means of making a fire. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be all right. Pull it in the breeze. Be good. Are we 100 percent sure we put the plug in? Yeah. Okay. I hope there's a beaver around. Flair can just skin it out real quick. Make me a better hat. Hell this yeah. is a cheap hat right here. It's only 20 percent beaver. I'd like to get 100 percent beaver. I don't know, folks. We're we're sitting amongst right now the most oak trees, every kind of species of trees that have just tipped over and come down the river. That means there's a lot of log jams up in here, and there could be some bass up in those log jams. Getting them out, I'm not really prepared for, but it sure is going to be fun to try. Let's get a little little uh, breastplate on and give it a dangle. Okay, folks, I, I am. I have this runt on right here. Look at that. It looks like a peanut. Did you just get thumped? Yeah. Oh. Dude, what? Wow. There's bass in here. There's 
There's white bass, there's crappie, there's multiple species to, to go after. This, uh, this runt is a sort of a square bill, suspending, slow sinking actually. It'll uh, it's super, super slow sink. A good little spot right here, the river where a couple of tributaries uh, meet each other. And there's a bunch of log jams. And uh, boys up there doing a little flipping. You good? Oh, got him! Fish, 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 fish! Really? Watch your shoulder. Uh oh, uh oh. oh no. Big large mouth! Big large mouth! Big large Biggie! No way. No freaking dude, way. Dude, crush that runt, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Back Almost got in the shoulder motor, bro. Dude, that's a big bass. I know. What the Totally heck? caught me off guard. Oh my gosh, no way. Yeah, it's like. Uh, uh, here, here, here. Oh, hit, hit. All right, Flair, you got it. You flip him? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, no, no! I got like 10 pound tests. If that. He's coming. Oh, he's going back in the logs. Come here, buddy. Come on now. Come on. Oh, he's coming up. Oh, yeah. That's oh, a good my fish. God. He has one hook. He has one hook. Go slow play this guy on a on light tackle, light line. <laughs> With, with a soft. I'm so confused that you're like, yeah, I'm gonna go for crappie real quick. I turned I was going for a giant large one hook. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh, look, at, yeah. look at that. Oh, look at this. No. Look at this. I have face. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, pro rack. Come on, Akinelli. Oh, you got on. it. Come on. Yeah. There <laughs> you go, son. Yeah. Let's see. Him. Oh, son. Look at that fat Shut pre spawner. God. Oh my god. That's a tank. Look at yeah. chunk, dude. Dude! Guys, we're gonna keep fishing. That's it's, awesome! I think we need to throw him back. That's not Yeah, fun. we can't. Yeah, yeah, it. this is not that, for the pan. Not fish. for the grease. We're Holy cow. Tip can't get a few more what? Dude, she's just got eggs. Look. That just happened. That, is a fat bitch. Here, I need that to get a baby of is ready to pop. Let me get a picture. Wow. I'm gonna strip my reel out four times. Oh. Wow, guys. The runt. And no lie. Wow. Uh, One hook. We're not going to put him in the pan. That or her in the pan because she's going to make some beautiful babies. Oh, smell delicious. I was not expecting to catch fish that big, but that is awesome. Honey, you go have a nice day. You just made mine. Straw. Hey, I might need to run this bank with a square bill. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Uh, so I hadn't really fished this runt a whole lot. But that's what it looks like right there. It is. Um, it looks like a peanut, literally. What color is that? It's like a bluegill color. This water is real clear that we're fishing, so I thought this might be a, a halfway decent color. And that this doesn't quite suspend. It, like it's like a slow sink. So when you pause it, it's almost like a jerk bait, where they can uh, have time to come over there and grab it. it. Doesn't float up to the top. So I like the way that thing works. Cold water. Yeah, and it's got a. Uh, a feathered treble on the end. A cool little feathered treble like a topwater. So unique lure, only available at Carl's. So you guys can get that, but came in the box this month. Good choice. Good job, NTB. All right, the rest is gravy. We've been fishing for five to 10 minutes. I've caught one close to five pounds. What I really want to catch is some white bass. I know this sounds crazy. Like you, you just caught a five pounder or almost a five pounder. What are you doing? But we don't have any food and we're going camping. So we literally need to go catch some fish before the sun goes down. It's late in the day. It's already four o'clock. So that is the mission right now. Meat haul. Meat haul mission. I love fishing. Every species. Love it. Gotta do it. Gotta have it in my life. Hope you guys love it too. Yeah, I'm ready for flight. Trying to balance us out up here. Oh, we're about to we're about to roll into him. You guys missed the excitement. Everyone's super excited because this is dinner. Okay, y'all, one fish to put into a taco, Texas style here, on the runt again. We also have in here a square bill by Max Lure. That looks like a shad. We have a bluegill colored crankbait, which you guys might have seen me catch some fish on this. Uh, the other day when I was with Jonathan from uh, the Make-A-Wish Foundation trip and uh, that right there is good for this color condition. Here's actually another colored runt. 
but I've got the I think the better color on right now it's for clear water we've got the rear loader it's more of a bass lure you know I don't know I'm at least four or five. really yeah it's like no, boom it. boom boom and then he actually ate it okay Could so be the same fish I don't know I don't know we were probably a couple them. I'm just trying to cast out there and get some nicely done flare okay we're, we are we have two now I think that's gonna be camp up there that looks really juicy little rock island there's some a good sandy bank where we can set up some uh, some hammocks and some trees I want to dangle over the water why oh got him right here yes 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 yeah with clutch fish clutch fish there we go right when we get to camp ah uh, yes dinner is on the line oh I think uh I think we ran over my crankbait. Here's the trick, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna have to find some trees for hammocks. Flare is hooked. Oh, oh baby. baby. We are good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're good. We're golden. This is coming in clutch here at the end of the day. Step one, start getting your wood ready. Okay. I have a machete. So we're gonna have a series of sticks. And then we're gonna make uh, we're gonna make some small tinder. No, oh yeah, we're making the TP of life here. Oh, just try to chop it like halfway through, and then crack it with the machete. Just make a bunch of these guys. Got my steel knife in the log, and then I'm just taking this, and I really should probably round it off. These feather sticks suck, but. This wood is really dry. It's perfect for starting a fire, so I could just flake these off, put them in a pile, put the old Zippo to it, and uh, we'll be good to go. Got another fish? I haven't done this hardly ever. I've only done it for just for fun, practice a little bit in the backyard, but um, I think this way of doing it, like putting your knife into the another log is a little bit easier. You have a little bit more control, I think. But uh, the key is just to have dry wood, I think, more importantly, and this is definitely dry. So what this does, when you uh, make the feather sticks, it just creates a, uh, you know, a very thin surface for when you throw a spark on it. If you wanted to throw a spark on it, it can catch. You can take all your, your shavings, all your tinder, put it in a pile, then I'm just gonna take a lighter to it. That way it'll it'll hold a flame, and then you have your other sticks ready to go above that, and you are in business. Juice on our turkey here. Burn out a little too quick. Has that ever happened to you? This might be our best bet, boys. Yeah, there's a lot of that. Good try. Oh, boys. That yeah. wind is coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. oh, gosh. This is not good. This, this is not good. Is this good. wind in the forecast? Oh, uh, wow. That cold front definitely is. This is not good. Come on, baby. Oh wow, that thing rips. Mm -hmm. Get up in there. Oh dude, it's a sparkler like from mm -hmm. the 4th of July. Why didn't I think about bringing something like that? Yeah, let's be serious. <laughs> just let her, just let her. <laughs> hey, you boys ready for some fireworks? Yep. Yeah, yep, good, good <laughs> idea. Rack, I like it. <laughs> Pyro technician Rackley to the rescue here. Here we go. Watch your face. Yep, sparkler bomb in three, two. Now we're talking. Why didn't Bear Girls bring one of these? Build a little barrier over it. Okay, we're on fire now. Now we're cooking. It All only right. took about, you know, a whole box of emergency matches. Got it done. I've got to get the old blade out and get to cleaning some fish You got any fillet knives? Uh, I won't know. I didn't bring the fillet knives. So, just going to be using the... Uh, the old steely knife. Not the perfect knife for doing this, but it's 
not terrible. Well, we told you guys at the beginning, it was gonna be one of them doozy adventure videos, and it has been, but a lot of hard work. Cold front has rolled in, it's gotten windy. Luckily, we got the fire going. Flare has blazed it up. You got enough wood, buddy? I think we're okay for now. Uh, step two is gonna be hanging the hammock. I've got a hammock in my bag, and we're gonna need to find two trees to get that baby on so we can have a good place to sleep. Primitive camping on the river, catching almost a five pound bass? Y'all, you better hit the like button. Uh, this morning when I woke up, buddy called me from Oklahoma. He said it was 21 degrees where he was. All that is working down. It was 71 this afternoon here, so gonna get cold. Yeah, it's just getting in, getting in there is gonna be the, tr the trick. Um, so we have, we have a hammock here. Someone sent me this uh, a long time ago. Uh, for legit camping. Just looking at that sloth makes me smile. It's just funny. Uh, but anyways, this right here is a hammock. It's a, a little portable hammock. I think I've got my two trees right here. There and there. We'll give it a shot. I've never slept in a hammock outside overnight, so uh, could get interesting. Here, let me see if I can get in it. Oh yeah, get you in a sleeping bag. Yeah, I got a little high right here. Just gotta get in my sleeping bag. I think you need to lay the other one. <laughs> well, hey. <laughs> I'll get it figured out, don't worry. Did you just fall out? Yeah. How? Yeah. Like, like, did you roll hey, out? I've got a great bedding of vines with thorns all over them. Yeah, you're protected from the cougars. Jeez. Let's try this one more time. Yeah, that's the way you need to lay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, boys. You're good as gold. Cocooned. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be our residence for the night. Isn't this awesome? I'm going to throw my sleeping bag in here and somehow wiggle my way in. It's probably going to be dark when I do that, but that should be interesting to watch. I already fell out once. I have a tarp I can put over, but if you don't have any rain and it's kind of dry conditions, this could be really comfortable if it's not, like, super freezing. Yes! This is a, I love days like this where I don't exactly know what's going to happen, but it just ends up being a fun outdoor day with your buddy. So we're going to get some delicious fishes in our mouth and uh, get ready for the bed, the hammock. My man, mullet man, rolling in. Eating good. Frosty. Who needs seasonings? We don't need Dude. seasonings. Potatoes, onions, and portobello mushrooms. This man knows how to eat good. And he does eat good. You can check out Mullet Man over at his channel, link down below. He's always eating the tasty stuff. We actually ate some fresh flounder that he gigged literally last night, uh, the, the, today. So we're having fresh fish all the way around, baby. Woo, it's good. Sounded like Michael Jackson right there. I get elevated in my voice when I get really excited about fishing and outdoors and, and just camping. Um, I just love it. Everybody has got their hammocks set up here. <laughs> it's it's working great, guys. If you've never checked out these, uh, these hammocks, they're pretty cool. Okay, well, I caught, I caught the first white bass and then Flair just turned on the magnum mode and cleaned it up. I think, uh, I think we all actually caught yeah, some. Yeah, we all caught some. But we have the elements of success right here. The sizzle is going on and uh, we actually have a little bit of tortilla, some craft cheese. You know how we do it in Texas. We gotta have ourselves some fish tacos. It ain't Baja style, but we love ourselves some fish tacos. I'm so proud of our, our outdoor team here today because we rolled out at like 3.30, got started late. <laughs> we went from a pond to going all the way out here, and then we got into these guys, set up camp, got our fire started, got our our hammocks all set up, and we're ready for for camping for real. The, we did good. We did. We had good teamwork here today. So put me one right on there, sir. Thank you. 
I think I'm gonna shut it down right here, guys. You better hit the like button, because today just covered all the outdoor bases. <sighs> And that is it, my fishing freaks. If you wanna go check out Flair's channel as well, Flair and Mullet Man, they're gonna be linked down below. And uh, Flair's always got some crazy adventure. I'm just glad he didn't kill a beaver and bring us, track that sucker up on shore and start chopping it up. But I love you guys, thanks for coming along on every single adventure. And if you want to, stay tuned for the next one where we camp out overnight, wake up. I don't, I don't know how this night's gonna go. Uh, just stay tuned, subscribe right here for that. And I'll see you guys on the next one.